Hello everyone. Welcome to day 2 of IPv4 addressing series. Guys, this is day 2 of IPv4 addressing. In day 1, we discussed very basic things about IPv4 addressing. And today in day 2, we are going to understand how to calculate network ID of any IPv4 address. So without wasting our time, let's begin. Before discussing the network ID calculation in IPv4 address, I want to tell you something about CIDR value. Let me say CIDR here. CIDR value. CIDR stands for classless interdomain routing. Classless interdomain routing. This is nothing but slash notation of network bits. Like if I will talk about class A. So for class A, what is the subnet mask? 255.0.0.0. That means how many network bits are there and how many host bits are there. 8 network bits are there and 24 host bits are there. Means 8 network bits are there, right? So we represent 8 network bits with slash 8. We can write like slash 8. This is nothing but CIDR, right? Classless interdomain routing. So slash 8 means 8 network bits are there in an IP address. I have uh, IP address can be let's say 10.1.1.1. So in this IP address, how many network bits are there? So with the slash notation, we can find the network ID. Then for class B, subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. So for class B, how many network bits are there? 16. So we can say CIDR value for class B is 16. For class C, IP address will in submit mask will be 255.255.255.0. That means 24 network bits are there and 8 host bits are there. So CIDR value is nothing but slash 24, right? Means class A, for class A, CIDR value is slash 8. For class B, CIDR value is slash 16. For class C, CIDR value is slash 24. Right, this is nothing but the network bits. How many network bits we have for each classes. Now let me take one example of uh, network ID calculation. Let me say I have one IP address 192.168.1.1 let's say. For this IP address by default CIDR value will be slash 24. CIDR value is slash 24 or we can say submit mask is 255 submit mask for this IP address will be 255.255.255.0. This is submit mask and this is IP address. Now as I told you this IP address is combination of two things. There are some network bits and there are some host bits. So with this submit mask we can identify how many network bits are there and how many host bits are there. So as you are able to see there are 24 ones that means 24 network bits are there and 8 host bits are there. Now to find what is the network ID of this IP address, you need to convert both IP address and submit mask into binary. So let me tell you what is the binary of 192. Binary of 192 is 1, 1 and 6 times 0. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is binary of 192. Then dot binary of 168. Binary of 168 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, triple 0. This is binary of 168 and then binary of 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is binary of 1 and again 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this, these are the binary of IP address. This is the binary of this IP address. Now we need to uh, convert this submit mask into binary. So sub binary of 255 is as you know 8 times. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is binary of uh, 255. Then again 255. So let me copy it here. Here binary is binary of 255 dot 255 and dot 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? This is binary. Let me give some space here so that we can match and now here you need to perform and operation on these on IP address and submit mask you need to perform and operation like we will perform here and operation and after and operation as you know in and operation if value is 1 1 input is 1 1 then output is 1 
if input is zero one or one zero output will be zero so here one one will become one 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 will become one one zero will become zero one zero one will become zero zero one will become zero zero one will become zero four six seven eight this is the binary after end operation in first octet then dot here again one one will be one zero one will be zero one one will be one zero one will be zero one one will be one and zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero this is binary of second octet this is binary of second octet here and then binary of third octet in third octet you can see all value till here seventh bits are zero that means these all value are going to become zero seven times zero one two three four five six seven right because zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero like this and in last value is one one that will be one and then binary after end operation what will be the binary of fourth octet so here is the value here you can see all value in the submit mask is zero that means in fourth octet what value i will get zero 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 right so this is the binary of network id of this ip address this is binary of the network id of this ip address here we we have all zero bits in fourth octet because in submit mask you can see all values are zero and guys same method we are going to use in sub you know in submitting also so try to understand it very carefully and now again you need to convert this binary into decimal so decimal value of this binary is 192 192 then decimal value of this binary is going to be 168 then decimal value of this binary is going to be 1 and decimal value of this band binary is going to be 0 that means my network id is my network id is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 or we can say submit mask 255.255.255.0 correct this is my network id and this is my submit mask so this is how we can find network id of uh, ip address from class c with any ip address you will use this method only this is the only method to find network id we need to convert and you know like here you can see in first octet all in submit mask all value uh, all bits are one because value is 255 that means here value is going to be same in second octet value is going to be same in third octet also value is going to be same because till here in first third octet in submit mask values are one all bits are one so if we are multiplying some something with one we will get same value right so like that if i am writing one another ip address let's say 192.10.1.1.10 so what is the network id of this ip address again submit mask is same 255.255.255.0 and when you will convert some uh, ip address and submit mask into binary ip address and submit mask into binary so till here you can see in first three octet value is going to be same because we are going to multiply 192 with 1 10 with 1 1 with 1 right and in last octet value is going to be 0 because here we have 0 if we are multiplying something with 0 we will get 0 right or you can use the actual process this process first you need to convert it into binary then this value into binary and then you will perform end operation so here network id will be what 192.10.1.0 right means till here see values are same in all octet okay in the same way if i will give you one another example like 192.168.2 54 dot let's say one this is my ip address so again network id is what network id will be 192.168.254.0 getting my point because cidr submit mask for class e is uh, 24 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 means first 24 bits are going to be same in class b now let me give you one example of class b a sorry b 
it will be clear maybe it will be more it will become more clear to you let me write one ip address here 172.16. let's say 1.1 this is one ip address and as you know this ip address belongs to class b because here in first octet value is 172 so submit mask will be 255.255.0.0 now we need to convert uh, ip address and submit mask into binary so binary of 172 is 1010 this is binary of 172 then binary of 16 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. this is binary of 16 and binary of 1 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then binary of 1 again 4 5 6 7 these are the binary of this IP address. Now we need to convert submit mask into binary. So in first octet value is 255 means all bits are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then 0. See in first octet all bits are 1. In second octet all bits are 1. In third octet all bits are zero so one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight right and now we will perform end operation over here so after end operation what value i will get in first octet same value because we are multiplying you know here value will be same because in submit mask all bits are one so here one one will become one 0 1 will become 0 1 1 will become 1 again 0 1 will become 0 1 1 will become 1 1 1 will become 1 and 0 1 will become 0 and 0 1 will become 0 2 4 6 8 this is binary of first octet in second octet again we will get same value 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 this value and then here we will get all bits 0 because we are multiplying it this value with this value right performing and operation so here in submit mask all bits are 0 so we will get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 here and here also we will get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so now we need to convert it into decimal so decimal value of this binary decimal value of this binary is 172 172 then dot decimal value of this binary is 16 then decimal value of this binary is 0 and then decimal value of this binary is also 0 getting my point so this is how we are calculating network id so my network id of this ip address is 172.16.0.0 slash 16 we can say or we can say submit mask 255.255.0.0 so this is my network id and this is my ip address right in the same way for any other ip address we can calculate network id like 172. let's say 168.10.10 .10. So again, submit mask is 255.255.0.0. That means value in first octet is going to be same. Value in second octet is going to be same. Value in third octet is going to be zero and value in fourth octet is going to be zero. So my network ID will be 172.168.0.0. Getting my point? Like this, we can take one another example also 172.200. Dot 200 dot 200 this is one IP address and network ID of this IP address is 172.200.0.0 for class A also let me give one example from class A IP address is 10.1.1.1 again submit mask for class A is 255.0.0.0 we need to convert both IP address and submit mask into binary so binary of 10 is 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 this is binary of 10 binary of 1 is again 7 times 0 5 6 7 1 binary of again 1 2 4 5 6 7 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 this is the binary of IP address and then we need to convert submit mask into binary so here submit mask will be all 1 and then 2 2 4 6 8 correct 8 times 0 here 
This is the binary of submit mask. Here we need to perform end operation. After end operation, you can see here we will get what value? 010, 010, 010, 011, 111, 011, 011, and 010. And here you can see all bits 0. All bits will become 0 because here we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All bits are 0. So here 8 time 0 dot again 8 times 0 and again 8 times 0 now we need to convert it into decimal value so decimal value of this binary is this binary is 10 then dot then here 0 here 0 and here 0 so network id of the IP, this ip address is 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 right so let me give you one another example from class 8 10 dot 255 dot 254 dot 200 let's say this is my ip address so what will be the network id submit mask is 255 dot 255 dot 255 sorry 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 that means value in first octet is going to be same and value in second octet third octet and fourth octet is going to be 0 so my network id will be 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 like this if i will give you one example of 20 dot uh, 1 dot 1 dot 1 so here again submit mask is because submit mask is 255 dot 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 submit mask is 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 so my network id is going to be what 20 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 so this is how we are calculating network id with ip address now with submit mask and now in next class i am going to make you understand submitting submitting is very interesting guys but until and unless you will not understand these things you cannot understand submitting like for class a it should be very clear to you how many network widths are there how many host widths are there for each classes how many network we can design how many valid hosts are there for each classes so these are basic things but important to understand subnetting and vlsm okay that's all for today today we understood only how to find network id of any ipv4 address with subnet mask that's all for today guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye